Doesn't matter if your percentage is big from ninth. Ninth is ninth. Gorn knocks it down. Brayshaw. Sidestep to cup. Little one, two. Okay, Oliver from Hannon. Spears it inboard. And Neil Bullen can go back and have a shot. Brayshaw's been important at the start of this quarter. His clearance work, his ability to get that ball going Melbourne's way has been really, really important. Melbourne kicked three in a row. The Dogs responded with three in a row. Melbourne skipped out to the biggest lead of the game. The dogs have the lead back now. Neil Bullen waltzes in from 40 in Melbourne. Get the lead back again. I love that. It's the unpressured clearances the hardest to defend, Harry. You just see Max Gorn. Look at this forward tap. We don't often see the big taps like that. Read it beautifully, Brayshaw. Straight out of the front of the, front of the centre square. They're the most dangerous clearances a side can have. Yeah, as soon as you're in that corridor uh, position, about 70 metres yeah, out from goal, really, really difficult to understand where the forward is going to lead. In this case, back up at the ball, really easy mark and goal. Have to be the best tap back in the competition, I think, Max Gorn. Yeah, had a fantastic, particularly after the first quarter, he's been he's been fantastic. So goal for goal early on in the second half. And that's been improving to see Sandy that graphic. 59% yeah. scores per inside 50. It's been a problem for Melbourne coming into the game. Here they go again. Brayshaw goes wide to Spargo, who kicked one in the second. They go in towards the fourth pocket region. And there's the man, Jesse Hogan. One goal to his name at the moment. That came in the second term. Uh, a chance now to just open up an eight-point lead once again. Forty-five degree angle, kicking from just inside fifty. He's going to take advantage of everything he has. Kicks from probably fifty-two. Good-looking kick. Great-looking kick. Jesse's got his second. Melbourne answers. Fantastic. I think Jesse Hogan's been really good today. He hasn't had huge numbers, but let's just watch this contest here against Trengrove. This is hard to play on Harry because of the multiple moves he makes. Let's just watch this unfold. You talk us through it, Harry. Yeah, so moves back towards goal. The uh, defender takes front position, but then cuts back up for the ball. Talked about his footwork on uh, numerous occasions. That is why he's a great player. It's hard there as a defender, isn't it? Because you're trying to watch the ball and watch your man at the same time. Yeah, especially if you lose that body contact. So there, the defender lost the body contact, lost that ability to touch, feel where his opponent is. And that way, he actually makes it really difficult for himself. Has to rely on a bad kick. Back in the middle we go. Max Gorn, it could be the Brownlow medal favourite tonight the way he's playing if he's not already could change history a ruckman winning it adam goods jim oh. steins perfect oh. calm down to petrarca on cue brayshaw he slams it inside 50 the ball to the back oliver three in a row and all from max gorn taps this is becoming a huge concern for the Western Bulldogs now. Max Gorn's dominance in the centre square has been outstanding. Just putting it down the throat of his midfielders. They're able to get proactive here, Harry. Yeah, they are. Brayshaw's the one taking advantage of it. He's been fantastic. Another clearance for him. Just using the ball well. Going to that dangerous spot on the ground that we spoke about. Get a contest. There you go. Yeah, Jesse Hogan's been really good to make a contest. As a several times, he's been outnumbered. Two v one, three v one. That could be the move, though, Brownie. Yeah. I think the change is the Melbourne forward fifty. That man there, Clayton Oliver, at full forward. They need impact. They need star factor in their forward line. Petrarca's a goal kicker, but this man could kick five and or six. And I love 